Hey, what's up guys? It's Don here and today I'll be doing my first ever jailbreak tweak video and this video is going to be focused on how to enhance your iOS 11 experience. Now we all know that Apple did mess up some stuff or has not implemented stuff to make the iOS 11 experience a lot, whole lot better and with jailbreak finally here we can go ahead and do that for ourselves. So enough chit chat, so let's get started. For our first tweak, it's called Delete Forever. Now this tweak allows us to delete any video or photo permanently without having to go to the delete folder and having to re-delete it again. Now when you first install this tweak, you will have two tabs. One will say permanently delete and the other one will say delete, which will go into the delete folder. You can disable the other option by going to your settings, scrolling down into tweaks and selecting delete forever configuration. And there you go, hide the regular delete action. So now everything you delete will be permanently forever and not go into the delete folder. So that's how delete forever simplifies it for us. For our next tweak, it's called Real CC. Now Real CC allows us to turn off our Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to the control center. As you guys know, with iOS 11, it just disables it, which is still running in the background, cleaning your battery. So all you have to do is download and install the tweak and it works as is. So if we go into our settings, my Bluetooth is off. And if we go into control center and turn it on, it turns on. If we go into our control center once again and turn it off, it actually turns off. It's a very simple tweak just to improve the iOS 11 experience how it should have been from the start. So that's Real CC once again, and let's go into our next tweak. Better CC XI is a paid tweak, but it does allow us to enhance and organize our control center how Apple should actually allow us to, but you know, they don't because it's Apple. But anyways, if we go into the settings and go into our tweaks and go into better CC XI, we do have the option to organize our control or connectivity modules music modules and our weather modules. As you can see, the 4X1 and 4X2 is usually big modules like you see here. And the lower you go, and the, you know, the smaller you get. But with this tweak, you also need another tweak that installs it for you and that is called Support CC. Now that allows you to organize your control center. So if we go into control center, you will see the customized controls. And you will see the option to either add more toggles that you usually can't or just simply organize the toggles by holding it and moving it around however you like. Now you can get creative with this but I don't want to go messing around with mine because I already have it how I like it. It's actually stock but yeah. But that's pretty much some stuff that you could do if you actually go into the tweaks, the tweak description and look at it. You'll see some previews of how some people got creative with the actual tweak. But that's pretty much it for better CCXI and let's go on to our next tweak. Volume HUD. This is basically a download and install tweak. There's no configuration. And what this does is basically remove that ugly volume HUD that you get when you're watching a movie or playing games. And you adjust the volume and it just blocks your, your view. So this gives you this simplistic, simple volume HUD on the top right corner. And I like it. There's a few more. I might do a video on volume HUD tweaks so you can pick which one's your favorite. But that's pretty much all it does. I mean, it's what we've been asking for for the longest, but Apple does not really care about us. So that is volume HUD for you guys. And let's go on to our next tweak. Bozzy. Bozzy is a paid tweak that fixes something that somehow Apple screwed up once again. As you guys know, for iPhone X users, we cannot have the battery percentage in our status bar. The only way we can see that is if we bring down our control center. Now, Bozzy is here to actually fix that and gives us some more options as well. So if we go into our settings, we go into Bozzy. We have different type of battery styles. We have default battery, which has the percentage in the battery. Circle, which has the percentage in the circle. Then we have our classic percentage which I'm using right now then we have percentage plus the battery on the side and vice versa for the last option it's just on the left for notch bar settings it's basically that little line you see on top displaying my battery percentage mine's at 52 so it kind of makes sense why it's in the middle it's a little bit past there with that you can actually customize it and make it pulse while you're charging use a custom color and you can also change the thickness of that line with these three sliders down here. And you also have some more options for the status bar, as you can see here, on how it works. Basically, hide the percentage, hide the battery icon, and whatnot. 
But that's pretty much it for Bozzy. You can find it on the Cydia app for $1.99. And that's pretty much it. Let's go on to our next tweak. Easy Switcher X. What this tweak does is basically fix another issue Apple has created. As you guys know, to kill an app in the App Switcher, you have to swipe up, hold, and swipe up. With this app, now all you have to do is swipe and swipe up. Easy as that. No need to hold the app and swipe up. Just swipe up and that's it. But this tweak also comes with another nice feature. And it's if you swipe down, you have a menu to kill all applications, reboot, or respring. Now, to get that menu, you're going to have to go into your settings, and you're going to have to go into Easy Switcher X. And you're going to have three settings here. One is to enable the tweak, obviously. The second one is to enable the switcher menu, which is the menu you get when you swipe on the application down. The enable confirmation in switcher menu is basically a menu that asks you if you want to confirm that action. So let's say you accidentally hit reboot and you don't want to do that because obviously you're going to reboot, your jailbreak's going to disable and you have to enable it once again. It's going to ask you, do you want to reboot? And it's going to say confirm or cancel. Now I have that disabled because I don't actually hit that on accident and I mostly use it to respring when I install a tweak or something goes wrong and I need to respring. But uh, that's Easy Switcher X for you guys. Another amazing tweak to make your iOS 11 experience a lot more simpler. Now on to our next tweak. Call Bar X is a pay tweak that simplifies the phone app when you get a call and it basically takes up your whole entire screen. Call Bar makes that into a small widget that goes either on top or the bottom of your screen. Basically, something like the Android platform when they get a call and it's just on the top and doesn't take up the whole screen. So I'm actually going to go ahead and show you guys an example. Let me go get my other iPhone and FaceTime myself. As you guys can see, we have the little pop-up on the top. Go ahead and stop that call. But that's pretty much how it looks. Now, there are some additional configurations for this tweak. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. So if we go up here into our settings and call bar X, we do see that there is a global style. The one you just saw was light. So if I put dark, it's basically the same way, just in the dark version. It goes very well if you're going for a dark theme over your whole entire device. We do have the curved X and the flat. Now the curved one looks pretty nice, but it sucks that it's just on the bottom of the phone and not the top. So I'm going to go ahead and give myself another call once again and show you guys this one. And that's pretty cool how it just slides up in the bottom. It's a bit broken for the face ID as you guys can see there. But uh, yeah. And if we go into our Concept X flat, it's basically the same thing. It's just flat. It's not really curved. So if we go over here and play it once again, that's pretty much how it shows up. It's a bit laggy on the little program that I'm using. So sorry for that. But if we go back into the settings, we do have the option to change the global appearance where it comes in from the top or the bottom. We do have options so you can use it as lock screen. We have options so you could just works everywhere in the lock screen. And we could set specific buttons, scroll for long names, minimal look for uh, incoming calls. And there's a bunch of options. You also have the option to bring this up from, uh, let's see, I think your status bar. So let me over here and it's an option somewhere around here there you go activation methods you can bring this option up in either your status bar by swiping left right or double tap the status bar add it to set swipe right so let's say you're on an app and you want to make a call you don't have to actually exit out that app you can just swipe right and there you go, you get your little option to make a dial if you hit dial it brings you to the phone app and I think, I think there's a close button. There was a close button, but I guess it's gone. But you could do all types of things, call your favorites, see your history via voicemail. And then to remove it, you could just swipe up and there it goes. It goes away just like that. But that's pretty much it for Call Bar X, a nice simple tweak that we asked for Apple to integrate in the future, which they probably won't like until like a few years two years past later because you know that's apple and uh yeah let's go on to our next week
Fast Unlock X unlocks your iPhone X with Face ID without needing to swipe up. Now, I don't know why Apple made it difficult, but this tweak fixes that issue. So if we take a look at some of the configuration settings for this tweak, you will have the enabled option, obviously, but you, so you will also have Face ID Auto Try, which is basically purely integrated into this tweak. And it basically keeps scanning for your face so it can unlock more quicker. As you guys know, if you tried your face ID and it didn't recognize your face, it will basically require you to do it once again by either locking the phone or putting your phone down and picking it back up if you had the rise to wake option. Now there's some ways where you can disable face unlock X, which is basically by having your flashlight on. Obviously you don't want your phone unlocking, just use your flashlight. Or you can have some lock screen content, which is basically notifications. And you don't want it to unlock when you get a notification and you look at it, obviously. Also, it does disable when you have media controls, which is basically your music player, which is nice. If you just want to look at your phone to skip a song, it won't go around and unlock the actual device. So let me go ahead and show you a little preview on how this works. It's already enabled, so we just got to lock our phone and unlock it. And voila, just like that. Extremely quick, how it should have been at the start, but you know, Apple's Apple. And yeah, let's go ahead to our next week. Bottom control X allows you to have the old gestures from your old devices where pretty much you bring the control center and a notification center from the bottom and not from the top. Something that people didn't like, but probably already got accustomed to. But for those who haven't, here's a nice tweak that fixes that. Too bad it wasn't out yet, but I already got used to it. So I'm going to remove this tweak after this video. But pretty much, as you can see here, I'm swapping from the bottom right. And here's my swipe from the bottom left. And yeah. So let's go take out some configuration settings over here for this tweak. So if we go over and click on bottom control XI, you will have your default enabled button, obviously, and you will have your custom sex gesture section, which allows you to set a different type of uh, gesture in these three areas, whether it be your springboard, lock screen, or in app. So let's say you don't want any of this working on your lock screen, then you just have it to home gesture or lock your device. It varies from different areas. So for springboard, you actually have more options, which is no action. So nothing happens when you swipe in those areas. Cover sheet is actually your notification center. The lock device especially locks your phone, so you don't have to push the power button. The control center is obviously the control center, duh. And the home gesture is basically takes you home to your home uh, page. For the in apps, you can also customize it as well, and you have the same options just in case if you're playing a game. And this is kind of getting in your way by bringing up the control center, etc. You go ahead and set gestures for that as well. Most likely, no action, so you absolutely get nothing in the way. But you can also set the custom gesture area width by sliding this slider. So let's say you're swiping to go home, but you're still getting your control center, as you can see here. You can actually set the width on how you want that to work. So you have to swipe a little bit more to the right and then the rest will just actually take you home to your home page. And you also set a low gesture sensitivity. So if you wanted to detect a light gesture, then it will work. But if it's a hard gesture, then it will not work and actually do the actual home gesture instead of bringing you the control center, as you can see here. But that's pretty much it for bottom X side. And let's go into our final tweak for this video. Shield XI is the last and final tweak for this video. And basically what this tweak is, is a basically a free version of BioProtect X and it shuts down any of your apps with any security measure that you have in place, whether it be Face ID, Touch ID, or your passcode. So you can go ahead and lock any apps on your iPhone in case you have some nosy children or nosy friends. So let's go ahead and take a look at some configuration settings for this tweak. So Shield XI, it's gonna scan for your face right away that quick. Uh, you're gonna have dark mode disabled. I enabled it because I like dark mode. And it's gonna have enabled on by default and enabled on folders by default as well. And it's also gonna have this option called intruder photo, 
which will take a photo of somebody trying to unlock a certain application or folder and it will be stored in this location at the bottom which is var mobile shield xi you can use a third party application i recommend fauza so you can go ahead and take a look at that location and look at the photos of people who try to open such app or folder so i'm actually going ahead and disable that because i don't want to take up storage plus you know no friends so nobody's going to try and lock my phone feels bad man but the most important part is looking at the locked apps so if you go in here it's going to give you a list of all your entire apps you could go ahead and lock and i already have discord enabled you can't really see it enabled for whatever reason but it's enabled so i'm gonna go ahead and enable that once again just in case if it disabled by itself and you just select whatever app you want just for the sake of the tutorial i picked the uh, Actually, I'm going to pick another app as well. I'm going to pick weather. Why do I want to unlock weather? I do not know. So I'm going to go ahead and lock that. Go back to our home screen. Select weather. And there you go. Face ID scanned to unlock the app. Now let's see if I don't have face ID or I'm not looking at the phone. You can see. Uh, it's got my face. Let me see if I can trick it. There you go. It couldn't recognize me, so it's not opening the app. It says try again try again now it's actually me and there you go the app is open and that's pretty much it for shield xi it's a very simple app to lock apps down or if you just want a lot more privacy to your phone there it goes if you think there's a better tweak than shield xi like i said comment it down below and that's it for this video guys like if you like this you know what to do if you didn't like it and hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more of my jailbreak tweak videos coming in the future. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.